my name is Nadia Frazier, I'm 14 years old, and I'm excited to go to the National Museum of African American History and Culture because I want to learn more about my history and culture as a young woman of color. Um, and I think it's important because children need to learn and see their history and their family's history and just learn about themselves overall. One thing I think that I'm going to take away from this is a knowledge of who I am as a person and what my people went through in order to get me to where I am today. My name is Centurion Jones. My name is Camille Glosson. And why are you excited to attend this trip to the National Museum of African American Heritage and Culture? I'm excited because I want to know more about like where my ancestors came from and what they had back then. And I would like to know like more things about myself and like, my ancestors because I'm an African American man. I'm excited because I want to learn more about like the African American history and stuff like that. And why do you want to learn these things? I want to learn these things because I think it's important to, to know where you came from and what like the people before you had and like, your people and how important it is for them and it should be important to you. I want to, I think it's important to learn this stuff because like teachers and like other people in your life sometimes don't really like teach their children about black excellence and like African American Sure. Beautiful. And what do you think you'll come back from that trip um, having with you? I'll come back from the trip having new uh, memories, new like learning things. I'll learn more about my heritage and where I came from. And it'll be like a new experience for me. Um, I feel like I'll come back with more knowledge. And this will be like our first time flying in a plane to like a different state. So, yeah. And what do you think you'll do with this knowledge? Um, I'll probably use it to better myself and like be more humble because you know, like not everyone gets to experience to know where they came from. So I'll, I'll take it to the heart. Yeah. I'll probably use it to like educate more people, like like about Black culture. My name is Andrea Pansy from Moody. And Andrea, why are you excited to travel to the National Museum of African American Heritage and Culture? I am excited so I can learn about my history and about my family. I'm also excited because I want to learn more about people that were on this land before me, Black people that were on this land before me, but that didn't get much acknowledgement for the work that they've been doing to give Black people their freedom. Beautiful. Why do you want to learn about this history? Because I want to learn more about my family. And I think that if I dig deeper into Black history, I could learn a bunch of new things about where I'm from, traditions that my family might have had, and about people that might have faded and fell from the books a long time ago. And I'm hoping that this trip will fill me with new knowledge about Black people. And I'm hoping that this trip can help me open my eyes and see things the way like people in the past might have seen things. And to get more of an understanding of what's actually going on in the world right now. Wonderful. And what do you think you will come away with returning from this trip to the museum? Inspiration. Because I've been working on poetry for a while now. And I think that this trip to the museum is going to give me new ideas for poems. And I'm going to learn a lot about like black people that did amazing things to help the world but didn't get the credit that they that they deserve and i want to learn more about black women who did amazing things in history and i hope that this trip is going to be um very fun 
And I know it will because I'm going to learn more about people who did amazing things that kept me and all the other black people in the world right now from being slaves and from working millions of hours a day because because of them now we have at least a little bit of privilege and we can live like we can kind of live freely but now it's up to us to keep to keep this going and to not just like let go of all the progress that we've made throughout the years.